There must be an honesty towards God in our prayers. When you come to God, do not believe that you have to pretend to be some person that God expects you to be. And let me repeat that for you one more time, beloved. When you go to God in prayer, do not go to God in prayer with the perception, with the mindset, with the belief that you have to go to God in prayer as a righteous person. God understands you and he knows you better than you understand yourself. God does not want you to come to him in prayer confessing things that you hate that you do not really hate. Such confessions are confessions of hypocrisy. So when you go to God in prayer, be honest, be true with your soul. Be honest, be true with who you are as you go to God. And God with your honesty, God with your truthfulness is able now to grant you the grace that you need so that you may have the necessary transformation of character that is required to live the divine life. So prayers that express sorrow for sin when you only feel sorrow that you have sin are prayers of pretense and prayers of hypocrisy. So let me repeat that that you may be able to understand the depth of truthfulness that you have to be with your soul and Christ. Prayers that confess sins to God because you know that it is a sin while you don't really feel sorrow for the sin but only that you have sin are prayers of hypocrisy. So am I saying that you should not confess your sins to God? No. Confess to God that you have sinned, that you have recognized that it is wrong, but truth be told, you do not feel the hatred for it. You do not feel the anger over it. You do not feel broken over it as a matter of fact. You like it. This is why Psalms 51 verse 6 to 7 says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, in the soul. God wants you to introspectively look at your soul. Look at the sins that you are easily beset by. Look at the sins that you continually to commit and to recommit. And he wants truth in the inward parts. That means he wants you to have a conversation, a deep heart felt real solid conversation about this very sin and God wants to go sin by sin in your life because God wants to unravel within you the causes for the delinquent behavior against his commands and the attractions that keep us bound to the things of this world so God desires truth in the inward part God wants you to confess the reason why why you are doing these sins over and over again. He does not simply only want you to confess the fact that you have sin. He wants you to be real with your own soul and search your soul and confess the reason why you are continually sinning and the reason why you are attracted to this particular sin or these particular types of sin. In other words, prayer is therapy. Prayer is honest therapy for your soul to unburden your soul from the blockages of sins that occur in your life that hinder your progress in the divine life. So behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. So in the hidden aspects of your soul, there are reasons. There are, there are reasons for your present self-destructive behavior, the, the, the practices and the actions that are destructive to your spiritual growth, your spiritual progress and God wants to shed light on that situation in the hidden parts of your life. God wants to go from effect 
to cause so that you can see the cause and he wants you to reason from effect to cause and from cause to effect so that you can have a real and honest conversation so that he can unseat the root of vice that have been planted in your soul as a result of words that you have heard, conversations that you have had, associations that you were in, things that you enjoyed and indulged in that planted a seed that sprung up and, and, and rooted itself in your soul and is now bearing fruit in the form of sinful and delinquent self-destructive behavior. God wants to get at the root of the problem of sin in your soul so that you can be set free to live in power with power the divine life beloved in Christ so there must be a truthfulness and honesty in your prayer so do not feel pushed do not feel pressured to come before God every morning and in a blanket statement just say Lord forgive me of my sins that is insufficient beloved that's the smell of food without eating the food to receive the nutrients from the food it is not good to just simply smell the food we have to eat that food so do not scratch the surface in your prayer life to god get to the root of it because god desires truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts god wants you to know wisdom god wants you to know why you think this way why you act this way and this is why scripture says search me O god and know my thoughts today and this way in in, in verse 7 of psalm 51 it says purge me with hyssop that hyssop goes deep to cleanse the tissues and the organs beloved this is how the purge takes place so that you shall be clean and that you shall be washed and whiter than snow this is what God wants for you. So be truthful and honest with God in your prayers today and you shall be clean. This is the word of life with Andre Knight.